welcome to today's class on real analysis today we discuss some theorems on countable union of sets so this is the first theorem let en n equal to 1 2 3 etc be a sequence of countable sets and put s is equal to union n equal to 1 to infinity en then s is countable so we prove this proof let every set en be arranged in a sequence x and k sequence x and k where k is equal to 1 2 etc and consider the infinite array x11 x12 x13 x14 etc so these are the elements of e1 and the second row is x21 x22 x23 x24 etc so this is the elements of e2 and x31 x32 x33 x34 etc these are the elements of E3 and the next row is X41, X42, X43, X44, etc. etc. So you arrange all elements of the set EN in an array. This is an infinite array. So in which the elements of EN form the nth row and here since s is the union n is equal to 1 to infinity en this array contains all elements of the set s so the array contains all elements of the set s we are going to create a sequence the first element of the sequence is x11 and the second element of the sequence is x21, x12. Third element of the sequence is x31, x22, x13. And the fourth element of the sequence is thus x41, x32, x23, x14. So you are going to construct a sequence like this. So as indicated by arrows, the elements can be arranged in a sequence. Sequence is like this. The first element is x11. Second element x21, x12. The third element is x31, x22, x13. The fourth element is x41, x32, x23, x14, etc. Take this as the arrangement as star. If any two elements of the set En have elements in common, their elements will appear more than once in star. Hence, there is a subset t of the set of all positive integers such that s is equivalent to t which shows that s is at most countable and since even is contained in s and even is infinite s is infinite so you have s is at most countable and s is infinite therefore s is countable so this proves that theorem s is equal to union n equal to 1 to infinity en is countable where en is a sequence of countable sets so we prove a corollary to that theorem suppose that a is at most countable and for every alpha belongs to a b alpha is at most countable put t is equal to 
union alpha belongs to a b alpha then t is at most countable so we prove this proof since b alpha is at most countable by previous theorem t is equal to union alpha belongs to a b alpha is at most countable so this proves that corollary so this is actually from the previous theorem so now we prove this theorem let a be a countable set and let bn be the set of all n tuples a1 a2 etc an where ak belongs to a k equal to 1 2 etc n and the elements a1 a2 etc an need not be distinct then bn is countable so here bn is the set of all n tuples so b1 is the set of elements in a a1 a2 etc an etc and b2 is the set of all ordered pairs ab so we prove this by mathematical induction so proof we have b1 is the set a1 a2 a3 etc an etc actually this is equal to a and you know that a is countable therefore b1 is countable and a is countable therefore b1 is countable so we use mathematical induction so assume that b n minus 1 is countable suppose that b n minus 1 is countable for n equal to 2 3 4 etc now the elements of bn are of the form ba where b belongs to bn minus 1 and a belongs to a bn is actually a collection of ordered n tuples so first n minus 1 terms together is b so that b belongs to bn minus 1 and the next term is a so if b belongs to bn minus 1 and a belongs to a b a belongs to bn so the elements of bn are of the form b a where b belongs to bn minus 1 and a belongs to a for every fixed b the set b a is equivalent to a because b is fixed and a varies over a so b a is equivalent to a and you know that a is countable therefore b the set b a is countable and hence b a is countable and b n is union of all such sets so hence b n is a union of countable set of countable sets therefore by previous theorem b n is countable therefore the theorem follows by induction now as a corollary to the previous theorem we can prove that the set of rational numbers is countable so proof we apply the previous theorem for n equal to 2 note that every rational number r is of the form a by b where a and b are integers and we have corresponding to a b you have the ordered pair a b and by the previous theorem ordered pair set of all ordered pairs of a b is countable so we have the set of pairs a b is countable therefore the set of fractions a by b 
is countable. So the set of rational numbers is countable. So this proves that theorem. So we prove this theorem. Let A be set of all sequences whose elements are the digits 0 and 1. Then this set A is countable. The elements of A are the sequences like 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, etc. So similar sequences. So we prove this. Prove. Let E be a countable subset of A. And let E consist of sequences S1, S2, S3, etc. And we construct a sequence S as follows. If nth digit of the sequence Sn is 1, we let nth digit of the sequence S be 0 and vice versa. So if the first term of S1 is 1, then the first term of S is 0. And if the first term of S1 is 0, the first term of S will be 1. And the second term of, if the second term of S2 is 1, the second term of S is 0. And if the second term of S2 is 0, second term of S is 1. So S differs in one digit from every term of the sequence S1, S2, X, S3, etc. Then the sequence S differs from every member of E in at least one place. Hence, S does not belong to E. But you know that S is the sequence of zeros and ones, therefore S belongs to A. But S belongs to A. So that E is a proper subset of A. So we have started from a countable set and we have seen that it is a proper subset of A. So we have shown that every countable subset of A is a proper subset of A. So we have shown that every countable subset of A is a proper subset of A. So it follows that A is countable. Otherwise, A would be a proper subset of A would be a proper subset of A which is absurd. If A is not countable, you know that A is a countable subset of A and then A becomes a proper subset of A. So that is absurd. So which proves the theorem. So the set of all sequences whose digits are 0 and 1 is an uncountable set.